Hey Doomers and Realists, it's August 18th, I'm the Doom Wizard, and we have just come to find out today that the Constitution does not guarantee us a secure and livable future. How is this not front page news, front and center, this supersedes all other stories, Indeed, Joe Biden's DOJ is claiming there is no constitutional right to a stable climate published in Jacobin. This warrants much discussion. I've already forwarded this to Mr. McPherson and a few others because I don't know what we need to do. Let's just take it from the top. In the same week, large swaths of the U.S. were under extreme heat warnings. Joe Biden's Justice Department filed its most recent motion to dismiss a landmark climate case by arguing that nothing in the Constitution guarantees the right to a secure climate, a.k.a. future. As the heat wave scorched America with record-breaking temperatures this June, the Biden admin attempted to block the landmark climate lawsuit by declaring that there is no constitutional right to a stable climate system, according to court records review by Lever. The assertion in Juliana v. United States, which echoed both the Donald Trump and Barack Obama administration's legal claims in the same long-running case, was part of the Justice Department's latest attempt to halt the suit brought by the children who assert that Constitution requires the federal government to maintain a climate that supports human life. That suit's momentum could be bolstered by a separate legal victory in Montana this week, but neither the victory nor the intensifying climate disaster appear to have stopped the Biden's administration's crusade to kill the federal case. Indeed, Biden's Justice Department filed its most recent motion to dis dis dismiss the case in the same week that large swaths of the country were under extreme heat warnings. <clears throat> that filing came as Biden has refused repeated calls to declare a climate emergency and as his admin backed a core case designed to accelerate the construction of a massive fossil fuel gas pipeline, despite scientists' warnings. Biden's admin has also declared that the IPCC scientific report about climate change does not present sufficient cause to halt a massive expansion of fossil fuel drilling. Excuse me, guys. I'm getting a little <clears throat> choked up as I'm reading this because it is the ultimate fail if I ever read one. It is a deeply disheartening to see that the Biden admin claim that Americans have no constitutional right to a stable climate, Julia Olson, the lead counsel for the Julia plaintiffs, told Lever when Obama ran for when Biden <clears throat> excuse me to combat when he ran for office, he promised America's youth that he would take bold action to combat climate change. But instead, the United States is leading the world on producing fossil fuels, the very thing that is furthering climate change, a.k.a. our destruction of habitat for Homo sapiens on Earth in the 21st century. In parentheses. Instead of fighting these young people at every turn, the U.S. Department should let the youth have their day in court, says Juliana. The effort to halt Juliana's suit is also supported by, you guessed it, Republicans bankrolled by the fossil fuel industry. In 2021, a group of Republican attorneys tried unsuccessfully to intervene as defendants in the case. Top donor last election cycle to Republican Attorney General Association um, included the oil uh, giant Coke, the Coke brothers. 885,000, fossil fuel lobby, American Petroleum Institute, 175,000, and oil and gas companies like Valero and ExxonMobil, $125,000 a piece. This is just one lines of donation. In the Biden and admin's court, June 22nd court filing, Justice Department lawyers agreed that because the child plaintiffs are not the only people who will be harmed by ecological breakdown, the suit should be thrown out. 
quote, the state of the climate is a public and generalized issue. Generalized issue, that's what we're going with. And so interests in the climate are unlike the particularly personal liberty or personal privacy interests of individuals the Supreme Court has previously recognized as protected by fundamental rights, the Justice Department wrote. Can we use more word salad, guys? Can we put some dressing on that? The federal case, which is being spearheaded by the nonprofit public interest law firm Our Children's Trust, asserts that the U.S. Constitution requires the government to combat the climate crisis and stop promulgating policies like fossil fuel subsidies, which are intensifying the crisis in order to protect Americans' right to life. Similar cases are now unfolding in state courts across the country where plaintiffs argue that state constitutions enshrine similar rights to a livable climate. However, this week, the Montana court ruled in favor of the children in a state lawsuit. Um, the state's process for approving fossil fuel permits violated the Montana state constitution. It was the first time that the U.S. that a backed, youth-backed climate change lawsuit has gone to trial. State District Judge Kathy uh, Seeley wrote in her opinion, every additional ton of greenhouse gas emissions exacerbates plaintiff's energy injuries and risks locking in irreversible climate injuries. Afraid to tell, say I told you so, but we've already locked that in. Uh, she also noted that state residents have a fundamental, quote, constitutional right to a clean and healthful environment, which includes climate as a part of the environmental life support system. Earlier this year, the Hawaiians, Hawaii's Supreme Court similarly recognized that the state's constitution right to a clean and healthful environment includes the right to a life-sustaining climate system. Okay, quote, it is as if an asteroid were barreling towards Earth. The Juliana case, which was originally filed by, in 2015 by 21 young plaintiffs who sued the Obama admin in Eugene, Oregon court federal for pursuing fossil fuel expansion, Obama's attorneys fought the suit, urging the court in 2015 to reject plaintiffs, okay? Another case in Oregon, and then after D DT's election, his Justice Department repeatedly tried to have the case tossed out. There's no constitutional right to a stable climate system. In 2020, federal appeals court sided with the Trump admin, dismissed the lawsuit in Oregon, and... Um, the U.S. District Court, Josephine Staten, dissented, writing, In these proceedings, the government accepts that the United States is a breaching a tipping point, crying out for concerted response, yet presses ahead towards calamity. It is as if an asteroid were barreling toward Earth and the government decided to shut down our only defenses. But in June 2023, Aiken reviewed the case in Oregon by ruling that the amended version of the plaintiff's complaint could proceed to trial. Since then, Biden has filed multiple notions to dismiss or delay the case, repeatedly arguing, among other things, that nothing in the Constitution guarantees the right to a secure climate. That trial is going to go out in June in Oregon, but also other youth climate lawsuits are moving through state courts in Utah, etc., just as wildfires begin to rage. How is this? This is not the story of the century, okay? Our Constitution did not update and evolve to protect us that's what i'm reading if you if you're sane you probably feel you got the same impression okay clearly i exercised my second amendment publicly this week which could be a a foul i guess in some eyes but this trumps everything i i didn't i'm not a breeder i didn't bring another little bottom you know another mouth to feed to face some horrible future no we have no right to a secure future all right i wanted to go through a ton of other articles guys but this is about as um about as doom as it gets i guess one more is the saying that research finds that political attitudes did not change during covid 19 pandemic so now we've quantified that even after a radical social event people still don't change their uh beliefs or at all you kind of knew this already right mm -hmm. doomed the constitution the system you really think we have a future hit like and subscribe i'll talk to you later doomers see ya